11 awards given to street artists this morning. The Art Commission says it looks on these awards as a kind of good housekeeping seal of approval. Something tangible that will encourage all the 600 people holding street artists' licenses to work toward a higher level of excellence. Leah Perry Shellhorn says she'll buy that. She won an award. Like the other winners, she believes displaying the certificate will be good PR for her business. Not all the losers agree. But most are like Leah's neighbor, Larry Welton. He makes Manzanita Burrow pen stands. He didn't win anything. Do you think the program now is going to make you do anything different in your work or will make a difference to your customers? Uh, no, not really. I don't think so. I've always tried to do the best work I can. I can't do any better than that. <laughs> But the group to whom these awards should really make a difference are the thousands of shoppers who buy from the street artists every year. The question is, do they? No, because I wouldn't care whether he had a platinum award as long as uh, I liked his goods. I would look at it as someone else's judgment, which wouldn't necessarily control my own. Despite what the shoppers say, the street artists and the art commission believe when people come to realize what this little piece of paper means, they'll be more inclined to shop with the artists who display it. Since it's only the first time the awards have been handed out, they'll just have to wait until next year to find out if they're right. In San Francisco, I'm Barbara Rogers, Channel 5, Eyewitness News. Woo!